three, two, uh, one. It's art time. Hi everyone, how are you doing? Just checking that we're coming up here. There we go, hit that live. See me, I'm gonna start soon. I've got a couple of minutes. Just let everybody get their seats, find my tea. Oh, how are you all doing today? You enjoying the sunshine? It's really hot here. Here in West Wales, it's glorious. So hot that I've got both the doors open. Oh, well, here's Albert. Come see who I'm talking to. Albie, come say hello to everyone. Yep. Come on, come on. Too lazy, too lazy today. Who am I talking to, Al? People in the camera. Oh, you can't see, can you? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Right then. So, today we're going to... Who wouldn't want to be at the beach when it's a day like this? And today I want to do a painting for my friend Lee. And Lee's not been very well lately. In fact, she had to go to hospital. And the doctors and nurses have been really, really lovely to her and kind and are making her feel a lot, lot better. But the thing that Lee loves more than anything is to be by the seaside and especially to be able to walk on the sand without shoes on, feel the sand in between your toes each, and you're walking about there and you're just going to go down to where the sea is and you put your toes in the sea. Can you remember what that feels like? Yeah, can you remember? Anybody been to the beach and felt that? So that's what we're gonna to do today. Yeah, we're gonna paint, putting our toes in the sea there on the beach. This is a, a drawing that I did quite a few years ago. It's a little coloring in sheet. And I'm not selling, I'm not selling mums and dads, but these are on the website if you want them. We're gonna do it basically based on this, yeah? So we're gonna do a row of houses like this in black and white, yeah, you know it. Then we're gonna do some people on the beach, but maybe in summery clothes. These guys have got wintery clothes on. And some dogs. And then we're gonna make some patterns in the sea. Can you see those? So those will be very nice. And then we're gonna color all that in. So that's, that's the idea. A nice sea scene for me. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who's been um, following me and watching me and commenting and sending in their paintings. It's been just wonderful to see what you've all been doing and I'm so glad that you're enjoying it. So what we start with as usual, a bit of old cardboard, some nice thick steady card if you can get it, but cereal packets is fine. Paint on what you like. I like to paint on bits of wood as well and I know one um, young lady sent me a picture of some paintings she'd done on wood and wow, I was so impressed with that, which those look really good. But cardboard is great because, you know, it's free and you can throw it away, you don't need to worry too much about it. What else have I got? I've got um, some water, I've got a couple of brushes in there, I've got some baby wipes, yeah, and I've got the acrylic paints that I like to use. And I like to use the acrylics, as I've said before, on these workshops because you can keep painting over them and it, you don't make a mistake that way. You can be more confident, you can be freer. Not worry about um, making little marks and things, but just make some nice big marks and paint over them if you don't want. So to start with today, we're going to start with chalk, okay? A little bit of white chalk here. And the other reason that I like cardboard is because you guys can see then what I'm drawing, can't you? So a bit of chalk goes on here and sort of copying this. I tell you what I'm going to do for you lot, a special treat, how's this? If you want to go to my website after we finished here, give me about um, half an hour after we finish here, I'll put this up there for you. That's in the HelenElliot.net free resources, I'll put this up as a colouring poster, you can print it out, download it, or you can just look at it online and then copy it and do your own whichever works for you. So we've got a line there like that, where we're gonna put the houses, we're gonna put the wall on. So a wall just like that, yeah? Uh -huh. I'm putting it quite high up because I want a lot of sea on mine. And then we're just gonna do houses, you know, and keep those simple shapes, so just squares joining onto each other. Can you see this okay? I'll bring it over to you in a minute now. So there's the wall. Just two lines like that, squares at the moment, okay, all with me, 
Video interrupted again. <laughs> and you just triangles like that, so you could have them all triangles if you wanted. Couldn't you? They're quite nice, quite jolly. But you know, if you decided that's not what you wanted, you just wipe those off. This is brilliant. A nice combination. So I'm just going to like how we've been putting a triangle on there. Can you imagine? But I'm just going to chop it off there instead. So I've just chopped the top bit of the triangle off and that's given me a nice root shape. And I'm just going to continue with that line, I think, across there. And then this little edge here, bring that down like a triangle. And then put lines up like that. And each one, I think, can have another little square there for their chimneys. Okay. Yeah. And one at the end and one there. So they're fun, aren't they? And then we'll just do some more squares. Window, 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 window. Let's make this one different. Just one window there. And this one then, maybe two. Okay. And more squares here downstairs for the doors and the windows. Well, a rectangle, so kind of that shape there for your, for your door, isn't it? Um, and then little squares for the windows. And then the fun bit will come when we colour these in, because we can do them all different colours all sorts of different curtains in them. This one I'm going to put a door to the side there and just one window. This one I'm going to put a door to the side again and then a big rectangular window like that. Yeah, And this one a door in the middle and two windows at the side. Well, we're getting there, are we? That's the houses done and the wall. Now in the wall there, you can put some little marks in to make it look like stonework, so it's a stone wall. So you can just do some little circles in it, or like egg shaped flat circles, oblongs, ovals. You can do squares if you like and make them brick. These we're all going to, we're going to draw around with black paint, or and we're going to make an outline then for us to colour in. Okay. So then is, can you see this if I put it there for a minute? Oh, live video interrupted again. <laughs> Sorry. There we are. So we're going to do the C bit. And again, I'm going to curve that line round like that, yeah? So it just gives it a little bit more life, you know? We're thinking about the C coming in, aren't we? And the C going out, C coming in, the waves like that, moving around. And by making a curve like that, it suggests the C going in and C going out. And then we're just going to do a few more lines like that, you know, like we did the rainbow one. And in each of these lines then, we're going to do a different little pattern, aren't we? Yeah? So some of them are going to have circles in them. Like I'm going to do here. Some will have circles. There we go. Which is like, the, as you can imagine, the sea's coming in, isn't it? And, you, you know, it froths up the waves a bit and you can see some little uh, bits of air in the sea making bubbles like that. And other times then it's going to be like more of a wavy pattern like that. There we are, like a wavy pattern. And you don't like it, just rub it out with your baby wipe, do it again. Don't worry about it at all, just keep going, just do what, in, what you enjoy. If it's making you feel good doing these wavy bits, do them all wavy like that. If you're making you feel good doing those the bobbly patterns, do more of that. I'm going to do a bit more wavy bit instead. And then, then, right, I'm just going to bring my chalk back into this wavy pattern and go over it again like that. So I'm making it even more wavy and even more little bits to colour in. That's going to be such fun. And there, and there. So that's looking like you've got a bit of movement and the C is there. So continuing with just doing my outline now, before I do any painting, I'm going to put some people on the beach. I'm going to do me here, so that's a triangle and a circle. And do you remember if you've seen the previous videos, and they're all on my website there on the free resources bit, or they will be soon, there's some there, there'll be more soon. I use just these very simple shapes, especially with children, teaching like this. Triangle, circle, two sticks, yep. Yeah. And you'll be able to tell it's me because we'll have some long hair there like that. And we'll have Albert the dog as well in a minute. And I'm, my feet are going to be just in the sea there. I'm giving myself some nice long legs. 
So my feet are just in the sea. I'm just going to put a little wave in there so we can have them. And this is my friend Lee. So she is a triangle and a circle for her head. And she had long hair too, but when I coloured this in, her hair's blonde. And her feet then are going to be in the sea as well. There, like that. So Lee has a little, two dogs, two little dogs, Jack Russells, yeah? Hang on here for you can see. So to draw her dogs, yeah? I'm going to do her dogs sitting down as well, because sitting down dogs are really easy. So again, it's a triangle. There. Checking to see him. Triangle for the face, can you see that there? And two triangles for the ears and a little tail there. And the other one I'm going to do facing the other way. So it's a triangle and a triangle and two little triangles for the ears. And we'll be able to colour those in like her dogs, won't we? So you could draw a friend's dog or you could draw these ones or you could draw Albert, my dog. Ah, so Albert, my dog, here he is. I'm going to do him sitting down as well because he's a lot bigger, so he's got a bigger triangle. And another triangle for his head there. And then two ears, they can be going back like that, and a big tail. There, he's sitting there watching me, I think. Yeah, there we go. So I think that's time for us to start doing some colouring in, don't you? How's everyone doing? You all okay? Just checking there. Lovely to see you. It's really nice to have you here in the studio with me. And I'm sorry we keep getting a little bit of video interrupting again, but hopefully that's not, not going to be too disruptive for you. Right, I'm going to be using a little bit of black acrylic paint. And I'm just looking for the right brush that I want to use. So, you know I don't like to use brushes that are too small. Mm, for the reason, um, whoop, I've got so many brushes, uh, it takes me a while to find the right one. But I like to use one that's about the size of my fingernail, yeah? About that size, because if I go any smaller, I get lost in doing little details. And when I start doing little details, it takes me forever to do the painting. And it's easier for things to be not quite as I want them when they're tiny like that. Whereas if I just stick with the big detail, these big ideas like this, it's very easy just to make a nice thick line and make these really stand out. So I'm using these ones, um, they're System 3 by Dale Rowney and they come in a box. So you get the red, the yellow, the blue, the black and the white. And with those, they're called System 3 because they're the same inks that a printer would use. With those then, that's them in a box. They're not expensive either. They're real good quality. I use them on my proper paintings. Good quality paints, but not too pricey. With those, they'll mix to make any colour like you could with a printer. Right, so I'm going to start with the roofs here. Yeah. And with this brush, as you see, I can do like a thin line like that, or I can make the line quite thick. But it's, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you feel is nice for you. And, you know, as artists, we're all individual and we all put the paint on slightly differently. And that's what makes our paintings our paintings. Some people like, might like to do really fine lines like that, you know. And their painting would look a lot different, wouldn't it? Somebody who did really thick lines like this. And the point is, of course, difference is good. Difference is very good. In art, if every painting looked the same, well, it would be boring, wouldn't it? It really would be boring, and there'd be nothing to think, wow, look at that, you know? So it's good to make it a bit different. It's good to be unique in art and in life. There we go. So I'm just going over my chalk marks. And again, I'm not being too tidy. I'm just, uh, just going with it. What I'm doing with the brush as well is I'm just dipping it in a bit of water and then just getting a bit of paint off the top there. I don't like to put paint out because it would dry too quickly and it would then go in the bin. Okay. Do these little windows now. There we are. Doors. I think when Lee sees this she's going to be thinking of when she's at the beach and she's got her sandals off 
and she can have her toes in the sand and just in the edge of the sea there. I think that's what she'd like to do. Draw a square for a window, oblong for a window, square for a window, square, square, oblong, square. And then I'm going to put some circles in this wall bit here. Yeah. There we go. Okay. We're doing well, aren't we? So I've started at the top. Um, and I'm going to work down to the bottom with the paint and there's a reason for this and this is an artist tip, okay? It's because if you're working flat, which you probably are, like that on the desk, yeah? Or even if you're working like this, if you start at the bottom, then as you work up like that, your, your arm will brush against the wet paint on the bottom and you might smudge it and you'll get it on your arm. Whereas if you start at the top and you work down, you can't smudge that bit that you've already worked on. So again, for my face, here's a circle, yeah, triangle. Always just take all the shapes that you're drawing, everything that you're doing, just take it down to the simplest shape you can think of. Circles, triangles, squares, sticks for legs, yeah? And then I'm just going to put some hair on there, some dark hair like that. And then that here's Lee, so she's a triangle again, and a circle for the head and her hair is there like that and that's going to be blonde i'll color that in this is the lovely thing about acrylics when it's dry you see when this is dry which it will be in in minutes i'll be able to color in on top of that and the, the black will disappear so this is just giving me an outline to color in really and here she is look there's two sticks for her legs and there's our feet actually in the sea there it's her two little dogs, so triangle, triangle for the stick for the ears, triangle, triangle for the head, two little sticks for the ears. And you can see where I've joined those triangles together here, like that. Now, they're just try. can you see those shapes there? When I colour those in with white, which I will do shortly, I'll just paint right over those, those where the triangles join up and it'll just look like white again there's a big triangle for his body yeah small triangle for his head two little sticks for his ears and a stick for his tail yeah. we're getting there aren't we this is going well hmm? it's nice already <laughs> right so i'm going to start with putting this line now i'm being quite wavy with this line deliberately because i want it to look like where the sea's coming in yeah so I'm doing a couple of wavy lines there, not trying to be too straight and too precise. And again, this is where a big brush, ooh, a big brush helps. That was the door closing, a little breeze. Is that you can't be too precise with a small, with a big brush. Yeah, if you were trying to do that with a small brush, you'd get lost in a lot of detail too soon. There is um, time to put detail in later if you want to, but a lot of the time, paint, paintings don't need detail. They don't. They need energy and they need colour and they need movement. Hello everybody, thanks for watching. So this bit here I am going to just do a wiggly line into, do you remember? Then this bit here has got circles in like bubbles of air where the tide and the uh, waves are coming in and moving the, the sea around. This is going to be so much fun to colour in isn't it? Yeah. There we go. You enjoying this? You feeling like you're at the sea? There's another wiggly line. Another wiggly line. And those ones in between there, those real wavy lines. There we go. That's it. This is going to be great colouring. Now, I haven't worried too much about going right to the edge here. I quite like things on the edge. You know, up to you though. If you feel happier going right to the edge, Go right to the edge there. There's no right way of doing this. Yeah. So if you want to go to the edge, do. Or if you like it to leave it like that, do. I said there's just no right way of doing it. So that's the chalk outline that we've put on. And we've then done ourselves a black outline. So now is the fun bit. 
Again, I'm just going to use that same uh, brush. There we go. And I'm going to just clean it off a little bit with a baby wipe. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's start with some white bits. Huh? Let's put some white on. I'll tell you what I will do, I guess I've got to do a big area. Right onto the canvas, not too much, you know, because be careful when you're putting paint out like this, because you can always put more paint out, but you can't put it back into the tube, so a little bit is a good idea. So I've got a little bit of white there, I'm just going to blob that around, that's going to be in the sky, and then I'm just going to put the tiniest bit of this blue, onto my baby wipe and then I'm going to really nice sunny day at the beach. Yeah. There we are. And I'm drawing with that baby wipe, I'm painting with the baby wipe into those black lines. But also at the same time I'm making like fluffy shapes as I go, like clouds, yeah? Like a sky on a nice day at the beach would be. Can you see that? How lovely is that? So this is um, the acrylic paint that I'm using. You can see how opaque it is. That means it's not transparent. It means you can't see through it. And it means it covers up. Opaque means that it covers up what's underneath. There we go. Okay. Bring that down there as well. To the edge. Yeah. I'm not throwing this baby wipe away because this is going to be really useful for painting these bits, isn't it? When I get down to the bottom. But again, I'm going to start and just do it downwards this time. So let's mix a little bit of purple. Okay, so we need some blue, a little bit of on the brush, a little bit of red, a little bit of the magenta here. Whoops! <laughs> the blue went on the floor and the magenta all came out too fast. <laughs> there we go. So a little bit of those. That's enough there on my brush. I'm just going to put, do the roof tiles, yeah? So I'm going to put a little blob of each of that colour into each roof there. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, look how, that's that same brush, about the same size as my nail there. Yeah. I'm just going to mix that together. So I'm turning the brush around so it mixes on the canvas or on the paper. And that just gives you a nicer sort of colour. Need a bit more pink into that one to make it more purpley. that paint off the floor, onto my brush, a little bit more of the pinky colour. going to clean that off a little bit on the baby wipe there and then I'm going to get the tiniest little bit of black on here. And I'm going to do it onto the edge of the brush, just onto that sort of sharp little edge bit of the brush. Okay. And then I'm just going to do some little blobs on there with the edge of the brush. This is where you need to have your imagination working, yeah? You need to, as an artist, the biggest thing uh, for being an artist is about looking at things, yeah? The time, all the time you're looking at things, like little roof tiles, you know, when you're painting flowers, yeah, they, you know, are they pointy leaves like that, or are they round leaves like that, have they got little spots on like that? You're just looking and observing and remembering all the time, and anybody can do that wherever they are. And that means when I want to paint the beach scene, I can remember what it looks like, what it feels like, because I've, uh, I've remembered, I've looked at it really closely. Right, okay, so houses next. You can do these whatever color you like. I'm gonna go for a bit of pink in here, like that quickly. There we go in that one. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of white into it as well. I'm trying to get the white out. And whilst that paint's still wet, the pink on there, I'm just mixing the white into it. 
This makes the colours just much more interesting, using that same brush each time, so it's got a little bit of the blue and the black on. And I'm mixing it there into the pink, actually on the canvas, on the cardboard. And look how lovely those colour mixes are there. If you'd have mixed that up separately on a tray or something, you'd have just got one grey, quite dull colour, whereas painting it on here, actually onto the cardboard, mixing it on there, makes it a lot more interesting. I'm doing the same now with blue. So I'll put the blue on just quickly because I don't want it to dry out before I get the white onto it. Just a bit of blue on there and then a bit more white. a lovely coloured house isn't it? Yeah. I've got some of this on my brush still so I think I'm going to do the door on this house. That nice light blue colour. Yeah. Right. And now the next house, we'll have some yellow. So we haven't used that yet so I've put a yellow on my brush. And again I'm putting that on quite quickly there so it doesn't dry out too, too quick so I can get um, some white into it. Do you just love it when you're painting? How it makes you feel? Painting should make you feel happy, you know? And that's what it's about, you know? When you're painting, when I'm painting, I find that if I just happy in the picture, if I keep doing that, like colouring these in like that, it makes me happy. And I forget about everything else and I'm just absorbed in it, you know? And that really is the beauty of art, you know? It doesn't matter actually what the painting looks like, if you've enjoyed it, and it will um, come out lovely, I'm just going to use some of that yellow into here. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it's so exciting. Right, now then, what colour shall we have this last one? So we've got a pinky purple one, we've got a blue one, we've got a yellow one. So green, maybe. So green, here we go. I'm going to mix a bit of green then. A little bit of that blue that likes to go on the floor. A little bit of this yellow. Oh, I'm just putting that there. Blue's a stronger colour than yellow, so when you're mixing greens, you will need a little bit more yellow than blue. And I'll mix it there, the yellow and blue, together to make a nice green. Wow, these are nice bright seaside houses, aren't they? On there, putting it on quite quickly. And then I'll get a little bit of, I just cleaned my brush off. <laughs> there we go. Into there. Oh, that's such a beautiful colour. I could put some of that in the sea, I think. That's like a turquoise colour. Like a minty colour. How's that? That's looking great, isn't it? I guess I've got a bit left on my brush. I'm just going to start colouring in these bits here with it. Oh, I've got it, so I don't want to waste it. It's a very nice colour for the sea. Right, just rubbing my brush off, cleaning it off there. Rubbing it in. Okay, you were doing really well, aren't we? All right then. Let's have, for the wall, let's go for a little bit of a grey colour. So a little bit of black on my brush and a little bit of white. I love it just using simple colours like this because they all mix well together and fun to play with the paint like this as well. If you just get a flat colour out of a tube, you know, and put it on, it can be a bit dull. It's always more interesting to mix your colours like that. Um, the stones there on the wall with the grey. Yeah. You could do this wall any colour you like. Bright pink would be quite nice, wouldn't it? What do you think? And because I've not really cleaned that brush too much, there's little bits of other colour going in there. Little bits of the green is in there. That's just going to make it all that more interesting. Right there! I'm really excited about painting the sand, but I can't do that yet because I'm being very disciplined today and doing it all in the right order. So some pink, a little bit of... I'm going to do a few of those stones of pinky colour. Yeah, because I want to mix them and have some other coloured ones. Three coloured ones, so I'm going to have a bit of blue. 
and some yellow. Sorry about the, the jumps and the interruptions in the video again. It was not as good as it, it was a few weeks ago. Mm. I'll try and sort that out for next week. I'll just add a little bit of darker sort of colour. You do what you like, you know, do some really interesting colours with these. Make it as bright as you like, those ones. Right, now I'm just getting a little bit of just white. And with the end of my brush, the little tip bit of the side of it, yeah, not the big flat one, I'm going to do some... And again, this is the beauty of the acrylic, because it's opaque, that word, do you remember? You can't see through it. You can paint on top of things, so you don't need to worry watercolors it wouldn't work watercolor isn't opaque like acrylic is it doesn't dry like this does. oh I've got some reminding me that one uh, uh, that one there we are right I'm actually going to color in all these windows just with black at the moment and you're going to think oh dear that's not very nice black windows but you'll see in a minute why I've done that okay Right, a few chimneys to do there as well, so let's just pop a bit of white on my brush. Two. One, two, three, four. Looking good. Right, it's time to do the sea, it's time to do the sand. Okay, baby white. And a little bit of yellow onto there, a bit of yellow onto there, and a bit of white onto here onto here and let's just put that on there so right putting this on now rather than thinking like we did with the clouds we were going like that weren't we with this if you do it more like you can imagine this tide has come right in and gone right out and every time it does that it washes the beach doesn't it in lines almost sometimes in really nice patterns do you remember have you seen that okay I'm just scrubbing it in almost up in here. There. Underneath the dogs. There we go. Right under dogs. In between. Scrubbing it in. Up to Lee. Scrubbing it in. I need a little bit more paint. Yeah, just a little bit more paint on that. Yeah, wow. And oh, beautiful. This I'm really enjoying, you know, and that's, that's the, it's not easy because it takes a bit of practice and you've got to be determined and you've got to clear up after you, haven't you? All that kind of thing. But when it works, when it feels good, you know, when you enjoy that paint on the paper, that's where you want to be. That's the exciting bit with it. Don't worry about going over the lines. Yeah. I don't know one single great artist who's very tidy. Yeah, there we go. How's that? Where that's all mixed in a bit, you get lighter bits, and it looks just more sand-like, doesn't it? More like the beach. Yeah, that's good. That's exactly what we were looking for. And I'm sorry, we're buffering again here. We'll be back. And in the meantime... Baby wipe out again. <laughs> oh. oh, what's happening? Sorry, guys. I think we're still going. Are we still? I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. I'll just keep going till I finish. Right. Getting that brush out again. Yeah. A bit of blue. Come on to this C bit now, which I've been looking forward to. Oh, so I went over a foot there. And I've missed a bit out there between the legs, haven't I? That's okay, I can come back and come back in. I was just so keen on getting this C bit done. Colour that bit in blue. Yeah. You know, you can spend as much time as you like doing this. You don't have to do it quickly like I am. I just want to get this done so that I can show you. But Spend a lot of time doing this, as much time as you want. I'm mixing white into that blue now. I'm going over her feet, it's easier than um, going around them. I'll put the feet in again in a minute. Okay. And when you 
paint in C, you know, like I said, try and think of C, think of what it would feel like. Think of that cold freshness, you know. Think of it uh, sort of running onto your toes, imagine it, yeah. This is the other lovely thing in our imagination. Yeah, and everybody's got that imagination. It's free, it doesn't cost anything, you can use it wherever, whenever you want. And it is things on earth, imagination. It's where everything um, creative comes from. Anything you want to create, colour Albert in, because he's white, isn't he? So there's that triangle, did you see? There's the other one, yeah, and his ears, and his tail. Can you see how those black outlines, I'm going up to them, I'll show you again closely in a minute. I'm sort of going up to them, but I'm leaving little bits of them. That makes it interesting too. But it's up to you, whatever feels good. You know, if you want to leave all your outline, if you don't want to leave any of it, that's all good. So I'm just cleaning my brush. has got a bit of blue on, on the side, so I'm just laying it flat. Cleaning the, cleaning? Yeah, cleaning it on those bits. Paint, scrubbing a bit of it off there. And I'm going to go and I'm going to put some pinks into here as well, I think. Oh, I just realised I missed a window out. Nobody told me. While I've got black on my brush, I'm just doing little details like the door handles, yeah. There's going to be a little window in that door. And I'm going to go over those chimney pots again. Just the outline around there. Yeah, chimney pots. Chimney stacks, chimney pots. There we go. That's a little wipe off. Right, we're getting there, aren't we? Pink, I said, didn't I? A little bit of water on my brush then, and some pink there onto that. And because my brush has got a little bit of blue on it still, a little bit of black, you know, the colour that's going to come out. Very nice. Yeah. There it is. So I'm going to put that into these little bits here as well. You can do these any colour you like. And you know, don't be, um, don't assume what colour you think, oh the sea is blue, but you know, you could have the sea any colour you like, any colour, absolutely any colour. Because the colour of the sea is going to be dependent on how clear the sea is and the sky that's reflecting off the sea. So you could have any colour C that you want, so you just choose. Have a look at your paints. What's your favourite colour? Hmm? Put that in there. Yeah. Make it all very interesting. Mm -hmm. There we are. That's looking nice for me. But I've still got a little bit of this grey pink on here. So what I'm going to do with that is just put it onto that black on the windows. Now, you see the windows when I painted them just black, they were quite dull, weren't they, and flat, not much going on. But when they've just got that little bit of me cleaning a brush on them. I've not gone right up to the black outline, so it's just left a little outline there. Yeah? When I'm just cleaning my brush on them there, that's making them look a heck of a lot more interesting. Still got a little bit of paint on there, so I'm just going to do a little shadow underneath the dogs there and the people. Okay, a little bit more to do in the sea here. Put a pop a little bit of uh, yellow into this bit. Well, you should always have a little art studio like this with a floor that you don't mind getting paint on. <laughs> I'm making a green here, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue. Yeah. There we go. I just really love it when you look at water that's moving, you know, like the sea. When it's moving, you can see so many shapes in it, can't you? And so many colours and patterns. So you just find a pattern that you like and then just keep doing it, keep colouring it in, keep working over it. And if it doesn't work out the first time for you, you know, with acrylics, they're wonderful because like I tell you, you know, you just paint on top of them. So you just keep going, keep painting over it until it, until you get it how you like, yeah? yeah. Everything that's worth doing takes a little bit of time and practice, doesn't it? Nothing sort of becomes immediate. You know, you think of a flower, yeah? There's been a lot of those blooming and blossoming, haven't they? You see them come up first, don't you, as little seeds? They come out the seeds, don't they? Little leaves come out, then stalk comes out, and then you see the flower head, and then 
the flower bud and then it blooms and it blossoms. That's what painting's like. It starts just as a background and then you put little bits on it, there's the little seeds coming, they're germinating, they're blossoming. It doesn't happen straight away. Nobody would expect a flower just to go ping, boing, I'm here. Art's like that, you know, it, it blooms and it blossoms and it gives back to you as much as you give to it. You know, if you keep painting and keep practicing, keep going, you're gonna find that you get good at this. Just take time. Just using a little bit of grey in there. Albert's in a very barky mood today, can you hear him? He's getting cross at somebody walking by the front of the house. A big walk. Generally when dogs are barky like that, it's because they haven't had enough exercise. Ooh. You think we're enjoying putting our toes in this? nice water here. I think we are, me and me. Right, a little bit of black then, so what I want to do is put our feet back in so that you can see that they're actually in the water and I just want to redo my hair. And yes, the observant amongst you will know that I need to put some white in my hair as well. <laughs> to make it... There we go. I've got a little bit of white on my brush still so I'll just put that into there as well. You know, see how I was doing that? Let's show you that bit again, that's quite interesting. So I've used this brush in a lot of different ways like that for colouring in. I've used it on its side like that for small lines. Now, to do these waves here in the sea, what I was doing was just, I'm holding it right near the end and I'm just dragging it along and I'm twisting it about like that, making a nice line there. Yeah. Usually I'm holding it more like a pen like that to get much more control and detail. So I'm doing Lee's hair now, just done it white like that, so I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow in. Oh, she's gone grey now, sorry Lee. <laughs> now I'm going to cheat a bit, because I've had trouble mixing up a nice brown in the past, so I'm going to use a brown out of my, uh, my paints over here, if I can find one. There we are. Going to use this is the acrylic paint as well, but it's just spots like this because brown spots on the dogs. The Lee's little dogs have got brown spots. Okay, right. then I am going to put some clothes on us. So, yeah, I think we both, we both like pink, so we'll have a pink dress on each, and then we can have met at the beach and say, We've got the same dresses on. So that was just the pink, wasn't it, out of the tube and the um, a bit of white. And let's put a little bit into the faces of that as well. And then we've got a bit red in the face, like we've been in the sun for too long. So put a bit of white into that. Dear me, he's having a good bath, isn't he? I wonder if we've got some builders or something outside. Hold on a minute, I'm just going to go and see. Be back in two minutes. Hello, <laughs> what are you barking at? Come on in here, come on, you've been barking today too much. Come on in here, come on. Hello. Don't need you to keep barking like that. Fine, okay? Go on, go lay down. Sometimes he takes his guard job duties a little too seriously, don't you, young man? <laughs> well, we're getting there, aren't we? Yeah, we're getting there. Okay. So, right, what have we got? Got a little bit of um, paint on this baby wipe. Do you remember that I've been cleaning my brush on? There's bits of yellow, there's bits of black, there's all sorts. And because it's on a baby wipe, it's still quite damp. There's a little bit of paint on there. What I'm going to do now with the darker bit, though, is just Put it underneath the dogs there, underneath a little bit of shadow, and I'm also going to just put a little bit of that, he's standing right next to me now, into the windows there as well. Just rub it loosely into there. Yeah. And always remember, you know, with acrylics it's wonderful, yeah? Because if you've done something that you're not entirely happy with, paint over it and do it again, yeah? You 
it's much, much better to be really brave and paint over what you've got if you're not really loving it. If you like it, that's okay. But I'd say if you don't actually really love it, paint over it and redo it. Always push yourself that little bit further, you know? It's really, really good to do that. It's a good practice. So I'm not particularly happy with this bit here. I don't like though, it looks, that looks too much like stones and things. So what I'm going to do, get a clean brush, just a dry clean brush and some white paint. I'm just going to paint over. I think that could be better. Yeah, take, you can put it on like that and that's just going to dry in a minute and I'll be able to paint over that and make it into something that actually I really love. that brush in the water because with acrylic paint it does dry out very quickly on your brushes and it can spoil your brushes if you're not careful so always stand them in water if you're not using them. I'm going to put some more black into my hair there. Okay. Albert needs a, a little eye there. He's looking like he's been naughty. He's looking like that here. It's like a self-portrait. I put a collar on him. These two are looking very good unusually for Jack Russells, because Jack Russells are usually quite naughty, aren't they? We're doing very well there. Okay, now you can have some fun at home with this. I'm just going to check my time. Hang on a moment. Oh, we're doing good. But have a lot of fun with this at home. You know, put, do what you like. You know, have your have spotty pink curtains or yellow curtains, red curtains, curtains closed blinds you know ones that stripy blinds that go across like that yeah this bit look that's nearly dry now that's good so what i'm going on my brush again and i'm just going to do some blue spots into there so i quite fancy a spotty sort of pattern i like spots at the moment only on the canvas though not on my face there we go and then I'm just going to clean my brush under there. A couple more bits of curtains in here, I think. Just put that door there as well. Now then, you could also go on, you know, don't stop there. What else would you like to see on the beach? You know, if you've put yourself and your friend on the beach, what else would you like on the beach? Would you like to do a sand castle? What shapes would you use for that, do you think? You know, maybe a square for the castle and some little squares for the turrets. You could have some bunting maybe going across here, couldn't you? Some nice bright different colours on the bunting. You could have maybe some starfish. You could have some fish in the sea if you wanted. Run wild, you know? The painting's the one place you can really use your imagination. You can exercise it. You can paint in simple colours. That will make you sure that you'll make a nice painting that, that goes well together. And use simple shapes like the squares and the triangles and things, yeah? And just remember, don't give in, just persevere with it, keep going, yeah? Because nothing is perfect to start with, in fact, sometimes nothing is perfect ever, but keep going until you're as happy with it as you can be, till it makes you smile, okay? That's what we want, we want smileys. Right then, so that, that's me for today, showing you what, what I've done. Um, I need to just let you know, next, next week um, we're just going on to Wednesday. There's loads you can catch up on on the website there. There's 12 of the subjects has been covered there. We won't be here on Friday. Adults um, join me class, little demos, and can bring you a glass of wine if you or a cup of tea, come and have a chat. That's a by this Facebook page, the link. Anybody's welcome. Um, any, anybody who's got an interest in art is welcome to that. Wednesday, I'll be back next Wednesday at three o'clock. Um, anybody's got any requests about what we'd like to be painting? More than happy to look at those. Show me what you're doing. I love, love, love to see what you've done. And thank you, Albert. I love your comments. <laughs> that would be great too. Ah, fledging outside. So they're all flying about and landing in the garden. And Albert's uh, getting quite excited about that. Yeah, right. So thank you all. Have a great day. And I will see you next week. Bye.